How many times do we look at our watches and we're like, damn it, I barely burnt any calories? Well, today I wanna to talk to you about your watch and how those calories are gonna to relate to your long-term goals, even your short-term goals, and why calorie counting might not be the best way for you to determine whether you've had a great workout or a bad workout. What's up everybody? Coach RJ from www.fitclub.fit and today we're gonna to talk about the smartwatch and calorie counting. So the first thing that we have to understand is that there are two numbers when it comes to your watch and the calories that it's portraying. So number one is gonna be total calories and number two is active calories. I think the four big watches out there are Samsung, Apple, Garmin, and then Fitbit. But I think Fitbit is falling behind. I think the technology just isn't keeping up with Samsung, Apple, and Garmin. Now, when it comes to the Samsung and Garmin, I personally owned one. I have the newest and latest Samsung watch. I absolutely love it because it has a better sensor reading than my old Garmin watch. But when I go through and look at my watch, it'll actually show me total calories versus active calories. When it comes to your Apple watch, well, your Apple watch is gonna show you your total calories and it'll show you your active calories. It's often shown through your red ring. Now, when it comes to Fitbit, they really screw things up and try to be unique and they put out zone minutes. And from what I've read, every one zone minute is considered 10 active calories. So if you were to have 100 zone minutes, you would have burned roughly 1,000 active calories. But don't quote me on that. That's all the things that I could find online. That seems to be about what clients are burning. My recommendation is to, when you get a chance, sell your Fitbit and get yourself an Apple Watch or a Samsung watch, or even a Garmin based on which phone you have. Now, when it comes to the apps and like, you know, the display and all that, I think that they're all kind of the same. Uh, I personally go into my Samsung app and then there it's gonna give me a better detail and a more larger display of what I've been doing when it comes to steps, calories, and sleep. But ultimately, I think go with the Samsung, go with the Apple, or go with the Garmin watch. Now the difference between total calories and active calories. Active calories is when your watch dictates you exercising or when your heart rate gets above roughly for the Samsung 120 beats per minute. So as soon as my watch starts to read that I'm exercising, that my heart rate has gone up over 120 beats, it then considers me to be going into exercise and then that considers it an active calorie. Now, when it comes to your Apple Watch or it comes to your Garmin or even your Fitbit, a lot of the different watches, you actually have to turn them on for it to read active calories. In this case, my watch, whenever I do any type of exercising, I do turn it on because when the watch is off or when you don't have it as an activity setting, it'll actually just read your heart rate once every 20 or 30 seconds. And so think about it in that 20 or 30 seconds of you working out, your heart rate could have been elevated, but when it does actually kick in, because it does that to save battery, it'll actually not read all the beats that you've done in between, and you could be in a rest phase, and as such, your active calories are gonna be down. So my recommendation for you, if you really wanna see what your total active calories are for the day, is to go into your watch settings and make it so that the heart rate monitor is always on. Okay, and I find that the heart rate in my new Samsung watch is a lot better than my Garmin watch, which was about three years old. And I feel like these sensors, just like your phone or any other type of electronics, they start to become diminished and dwindling. And so they probably aren't reading more accurate. And from what I'm reading, they are adding more technology into the sensor. So as you can see, my sensor is blinking green. Not sure if you can see that, but it's blinking green. It's always on. The downside to that is it actually burns up my battery. So I charge my battery two times a day. So I charge it first thing when I get up for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then I charge it for as long as I can before I go to bed. But I definitely put my watch on before I go to bed because I want to be able to track my sleep patterns. So total calories is based on what you've put in for your height, weight, and age. So when you go into your phone and you do your initial setup, it's going to say that this is roughly how much somebody your age, your height, and your weight, your weight 
should be burning in total active calories throughout the day. So it's called your resting metabolic rate. Okay, so let's say that your resting metabolic rate is in and around 1200 calories, right? And then you factor in 400 active calories. So now you're at 1600 calories for the entire day. So total meaning like active calories plus non exercise related activity plus your base metabolic rate. So it's like everything that you're burning in an entire day. So active calories is when your heart rate gets elevated or when you start your watch. And then total calories is that plus everything else. So you have to make sure that you're separating the two because some people I see are reporting that they burnt like 2,800 active calories, but really that's their total. So you have to know the difference between your total and your active calories. So when it comes to total calories versus active calories, we have to understand that there is a big difference. Active calories is when you're working out. Total calories is taking everything into consideration. My recommendation for you is that every two years you should upgrade your watch. Doesn't necessarily mean that you have to get the newest and latest one that's gonna cost you $1,500. But I would suggest to, if this is what you do, to go and upgrade, they're about 500 bucks from what I see. Just get the newest, latest model. Don't have to get the high, high-end model. You don't need all the features, but it's just the technology in the watch. So it's the laser that we're focused on. This way you're getting more of an accurate reading of your total and your active calories. And guys, if you're looking to step up your nutrition game, you're looking for increased accountability for only 28 days to see massive results, I'm talking anywhere from eight to 20 pounds of fat loss, then go to our website, www.fitclub.fit. At the bottom, you'll see send us a message, send us a message, mention the belly burn, and we'll get you started today.